So I thought I'd show you guys this uh, Mike Close marble mold in action. And so here's a marble that I'm working on, and it's kind of hot out of the flame. And you can see how it has a very distinctive onion shape to it, or even a cone shape right now. Uh, the back side is, is kind of round, but the front side's going to present some challenges for uh, getting it round without just keeping it in the heat for a long time. So I'm going to go back in the flame here and get it hot enough and show you the technique I used to push that little Hershey's kiss in on the front and uh, round it up really fast. So while I'm heating this up, we'll stall a little bit. I'll tell you that I didn't uh, blow glass at all prior to my inventing the geometry for this mold. And uh, my first marble was built, was made on, on my prototype for this mold. So uh, the techniques that I've developed work for me from using my own my own mold here. So I hope they work for you or uh, something close to them work for you. So now you can see that the, the blank is pretty hot and I'm just going to push it in on the 45 right against the rim. You can't do that with too many molds. And um, you can see how it's already getting really, really round. I'm just going back and forth and putting it in there a little bit round. I'm going to go back in the flame and heat it up again, get it nice and hot, and it will round out really fast. And that is one of the ways that uh, you can use the Mike Close Marble Mold to your advantage to get your marbles done quicker and rounder, faster. So, here we go. Now I'll put it back in the flame, a little bit on the back, or back in the mold, back and forth, about 180 degrees around. I don't spin it 360 degrees, just go back and forth. I raise it up, I lay it back down, and it's round. And that's it. Pretty quick, eh? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy your Mike Close marble molds that you have. And if you don't have one yet, get at me on Facebook. Thank you.